What is going on, everybody? We are here in sunny uh, Ra'anana. Ra <laughs> we're, in, we're in Israel. We're in Tel Aviv. I can never pronounce the actual city we're in. But we are here checking out Cardo Systems. So we will be doing a cool little tour of their facility, checking out some of their products, uh, meeting with Segi, my guy over there, and uh, just getting to know a little bit more about them. So stay tuned for that. Hey guys, we are here in the Cardo Garage. That's what you called it, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're checking out some of their bikes. Uh, this is Segi. Segi, what do you do here? I'm a Cardo sponsorship and a customer support uh, leader. Nice, cool. So we are checking out some of the bikes they have here in their garage. Segi just walked me through some of them. And the most important item, of course, and so you guys know that uh, Cardo Systems is uh, as good as they come. They got a boost up in this bitch. It's the only way you can describe it. Say, who owns this Busa? This is one of our uh, QA riders. Uh, it's uh, Ivans. He rides a Busa. Yeah, and for you guys at home, QA means that the guys out there testing the product, kind of checking it out, going out on the street, making sure they work right. We have over here a Z900 with the, is this a full Acra on it or just yeah, a slip it's on? Full system Acra. Full Acra, beautiful. So it's really cool actually, this next bike over here is their uh, company Africa Twin, is that right? Yeah, the QA riders are uh, usually test our products on this bike. Yeah, there are definitely worse jobs in the world to have for sure. Go out ride a, a company Africa Twin testing some stuff. I'm sure it's a lot harder than that, but you know. Also with the full system uh, Terminioni. Yes, that parallel twin barking. Yeah. And then you also have this uh, old school VFR here, right? It's a 96 VFR, it belonged to our uh, head of the QA riders, one of the coolest, it's uh, Timur's bike. Yeah, you mentioned you had taken this thing apart quite a few times, right? Yeah, because uh, you have to maintain it. Yeah, awesome. And then up next is, is your bike, right? Yeah, K2 mine. Jixer. K2 Jixer 1000. Yeah, I remember I asked you what you ride and you are like, yeah, I got a thousand. Yeah, obligatory. Tell me a little bit about your bike. I have it uh, for almost nine years. I disassembled, reassembled it so many times. Uh, I love this bike. Yeah. How long have you had it? Almost nine years. Almost nine years, wow. You, yeah, that's, that's love right there, man, for sure. That's awesome. What mods have you done to it? Uh, no mods. No mods? No mods, just mainly. Did it have the arrow on it when you bought it? Uh, yeah, it's also an old arrow. I, uh, renewed the, the insides a few years ago and this is it it's only the slip on it's yeah. not a full system cool all right cool checking out some of the bikes here cardo we're also going to check out their office now right and some of the other guys yeah let's totally. do it all right guys we are stepping into the cardo systems office we are actually out here in uh what is it raya not i can't Ra -anana. Ra -anana. i can never pronounce it i saw it in the it was written out i was like Ra -anana. Ra i was like Ra banana i was like i can't say it <laughs> So we're actually walking into their offices here with Segi, as we saw earlier, uh, checking it out and meeting some folks. Should be a lot of fun, so let's do it. Segi, talk to me a little bit why this particular object is enshrined here in this case. Uh, we show here the, the top line at the moment. So it's... Pack Talk Bold, yeah? Pack Talk Bold, nice. the latest one with JDL. Every time we have a new top model, we put it in a glass. It's beautiful. Yeah, this is the one I've been using on my helmet, actually. I really, really like it, yeah. Uh, here's the automation lab. When oh, they... this would be great to get footage of, yeah. <laughs> So what goes on in here? Be quiet, so I don't buzz, but... quiet. Yeah. Here they build uh, automation tools to check the products uh, in the factory before yeah. they go into packaging to check that everything goes fine. It's uh, software and hardware. They build cool stuff there. Yeah, this is awesome. Why wow, have some like the OG scholar writers here? Yeah, just uh, just a sticker. It's just a sticker, but it's for. Uh, older models, like yeah. the G9X. There we go. So you guys still provide support for all the older models, right? Support, yes, not... Not sales, right? Not sales. Okay. 
I can or cannot? Okay, won't. Well, don't worry. I'll blur it out. Say top secret. <laughs> yeah, it will be a cool point. Yeah, yeah. So say you were just showing me this one, right? Yeah. It's a Q2, uh, about 12 years old, still working. Yeah. Just uh, got it off a guy's helmet on uh, Thursday and uh, put him a pack of bolt on it. 11 years old. 11. Yep, he was just telling me. <laughs> Ancient history, but it still works. No, I mean, um, I had uh, a team of uh, two female riders uh -huh. um, that uh, said that, uh, you know, they're, they love her stuff, but the battery doesn't work uh, as well as, you know, it should. So mm. I apologize. I said, you know, we have a two year full time warranty. Show me the units. And, uh, you know, if we can do something about it, we'll sure be doing it. And they pulled out two of these units. Uh, the Q2 from yeah. uh, 2000, uh, I think it was eight or nine. It's yeah, the first bike and, to bike. And uh, it was like the first bike to bike, um, half a mile kind of range, even less than half a mile. It's yeah. like 11, 12 years ago. And they said, you know, um, we understand there's nothing we can do about it because these units are very old, but just want to tell you, you know, riding <laughs> in rain and snow and everything just worked perfectly. So I said, uh, Wow, well, first of all, thank you very much. Yeah. Um, again, there's nothing we can do about 11-year-old units, but why won't you grab a pack talk bolt? And they yeah. <laughs> so, so, so this was, this was great, but we're getting these, these things all the time. I used to have actually one of the, the more interesting things um, was a very, very angry guy from Scotland. We all mm. do customer support because that's really the best way to understand what's going on. Totally, yeah. And, and I took the call. And he was very angry for units not meeting their IP67 waterproof standards. Mm. And I apologize, so you know, occasionally there are some faults, but hey, you know, warranty, something we can do about it, we should be doing it. And um, it was uh, a very old unit, it was a Scala Rider Q Solo from 2005. Wow. And I uh, said, listen, you know, uh, I understand you're disappointed, but 12 years, I mean, yeah. our, our glue, rubber, everything, it just go out just with fails. time. Yeah. Uh, just imagine, uh, this was, you bought this before there was even an iPhone. Yeah. yeah, um, yeah. And you don't expect your iPhone, first iPhone, to work till today. Mm -hmm. So, uh, long story short, he wasn't convinced. He was still angry. Uh, but he said, you know, my, my, my bike still work after 12 years. Which one do you have? Royal Enfield. Right. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. Doesn't have a lot of electronics in it. I was just it, about to so, say that, So, yeah. you know, I apologize. But sometimes there's this much you can do. But I think... The customers, you know, customers, you know, expect our units to work even 12 years after they bought it. Tell yeah. something about about expectations, meeting expectations. Yeah. So, Sometimes you can please 99 percent, but there's always this one last percent. Oh, but it's bit. always yeah. important to know. Good problem to have, though, right? People coming back to be like, "Hey, the product doesn't work after 15 years." You're like, well, it "Worked for 15 years. It's pretty good." Yeah. It's pretty good. I love how there's just like helmets everywhere, <laughs> even secret ones. <laughs> I'm sure for you guys, like figuring out the uh, like shape of all the different helmets and making sure you guys fit with them and all that. We test them all the time. Sometimes we we had a collaboration like Schubert and AGC, so uh, they send our, our they send us uh, helmets to test it. Yeah. They provided the, the helmets and provided the product. Yeah. This is Timo, the head of the QA riders. Hey, nice to meet you. Head of the QA riders. Uh, here you have more software developers. Uh -huh. QA riders, the owners of the Busa and the Z900. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once I saw that someone owned the Busa, I was like, I gotta know who has the Busa. Yeah. So we have uh, Avram, the head engineer for uh, since the beginning of the company. Uh -huh. uh, and Omri, mechanical engineer. He's doing all the mechanical parts. Wow. And a lot, of, a lot more, but uh, I, I don't know everything about his job. Yeah. Smile. <laughs> don't be so serious. So what goes on in here? Prototyping and that kind of thing? Yeah, this one you can't put. Yeah, I'll, I'll blur it out. Yeah, top For, secret. Forget about yeah. the site. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, there's something very special to show you. Segi has actually brought out uh, nearly every product that Cardo has made here. We got this all on this nice table here. Thought it'd be fun to kind of walk through them quickly and see all the changes that they've made and kind of how the product's been iterated over time. So, Segi, take it away. Hi. We'll start from uh, the G4. It's uh, the last, latest pro product in my stock. Uh, it was uh, the first real long range intercom, uh, four-way intercom. Mm -hmm. 
After that we have the G9, it was the first uh, mile long intercom uh, with the up to 9 riders toggle through the app. Then we had the Q line, the QZ, Q1 and Q3. It was uh, a long rider, two riders, uh, rider and passenger, I'm sorry. And the Q3, it was a four-way intercom, it was our mid-range at mm -hmm. the time. We had the Show 1, they integrated the product for Shoei helmets. Yeah. We had a great collaboration with them. And the G9X, uh, it was uh, a first voice activation uh, Vox based product. And then 2015, we had a major step. Uh, we had the DMC products, we had the Smart Pack, Smart H, and Pack DMC is Dynamic Mesh Control, right? Dy dynamic Mesh Communication. Communication, gotcha. Yeah. Uh, the Smart H was uh, also a DMC product, uh, but it made for uh, AGC helmet. We also mm. had a great collaboration with them. Uh, about two years after that, uh, we made some changes and uh, removed the Smart Pack from uh, our uh, line and made the Pack Talk. We made them Pack Talk Bold, Smart H, we changed it to Pack Talk Slim, and it has a uh, natural voice operation. The first ever uh, always on for uh, voice operation and we had our uh, new mid-range line, the Freecom 1, 2 and 4 that replaced the older Q line mm -hmm. and the last, latest, uh, the Plus series line that replaced the old Freecoms, the 1 Plus, 2 Plus and 4 Plus, uh, Pectoc Bold and Pectoc Slim. It received the sound by JBL. Mm -hmm. Freecom Plus also re uh, received the JBL sound and natural voice operation. So we took the mid range a little bit closer to the top range with the Freecom 4 Plus. And we have the Q Solo, uh, an old product, a classic product for a long rider. Yeah. This is it. Cool.